Hey there, friends, it's Molly. Let's talk about this thing called work-life balance. Is there a, a, an easy fix? No. Does the same thing work for everybody? No. But here are my tips for what they're worth. Take them or leave them. It's what I've learned. What It's what helps me. Because we all have a ton going on, right? Maybe you don't, but I think a lot of us do. I've got a lot going on and um, it's between, and everybody's time is spread differently, but mine is between kids, spouse, social work, and me. And there's hierarchy, right? Like me is at the bottom of the list. The social is just right above that, maybe. Um, work and kids are always at the top for me. Um, so it's important that I figure out a way to make sure that I'm not forgetting about everything else because the me time is just as important and it'll make the kids, the time with the kids and the time at work that much better if I can support myself. Um, and if I can be, have good time with my family, my spouse, my friends, it's all interwoven. So the more I can balance it all, I'm a happier person, I'm better at what I'm doing in each section. My number one thing go to is a calendar. I cannot live without it. If it's not on the calendar, it does not exist pretty much. <laughs> so the way that like I, because for me, if I don't schedule time to do stuff that I wanna do like tennis or yoga, it's just not gonna happen. So I put it on my calendar. I make a time and a date for it. And then when I get there, I do it. And I'm a little bit maybe neurotic in that I check the calendar so much. Like at the beginning of actually Sunday night, I'll check like what's coming up this week. And then the night before I'll check what's all in the next day. And then the morning of, I am neurotic as I say it out loud. <laughs> the morning of, I check what's going on for the day. So I just, I have it in my brain. I know it's going, it's probably a little much, but it works for me, <laughs> don't judge. Um, so I've got, I've got things that I want to do, things that I need to do, things that I want to do, and it's all in there. And sometimes there are too many things, right? So you just have to prioritize what's the most important. Need is probably need, that comes first, and then want. However, there's sometimes sneaks in a should, and personally, I say kick it to the curb because you've got enough with what you need to do and what you want to do that what you should to do, what you should have to do, you might not have time for it. And it's probably the last on the list because uh, in my head, at least, a should have to do is for somebody else. It's not fulfilling your goals. So here's my should. I should go to all three birthday parties for the, with the kids this weekend. No, it's not happening. I have to work. I want to spend time with my family. I want to see a friend. So one of those birthday parties is going to get kicked to the curb. Uh, my kids are fine. Don't feel bad for my kids. They have plenty going on. <laughs> Do you get the idea? Um, and the blocks of time is the other thing. So during the day, during a work day, Chunks of time, and I'm very fortunate to be able to have chunks now, at least it wasn't like this a year or two ago when the house was full of people and it was just mayhem, but thank goodness it's kind of back to mostly normalcy for the most part. So I can have a huge chunk of time during the day and just focus on work. But then when the kids are home at, in the evenings or the af afternoon evening, then I put the work away. I shut the computer. I put away the phone and with the kids. So my work time is super productive and my kid time is really quality time. It's not split focus, right? Nobody really benefits from that, from the split focus. Um, so chunks of time. Um, the other thing I think that's important is taking well, it goes into making sure that you get some you time, but uh, even a step further, like take a vacation if you can once in a while, um, even if it's just even a day to unplug 
from everything as much as you possibly can and reset and recharge. It does wonders. Calendar, chunks of time, prioritize, unplug. Those are my four. Okay, good luck. It's a balancing act. See what I did there? It's always changing. So if it's like this one day, just try to get it closer and on the next day. And each day is, is a new journey. Do your best. That's all you can ask for. All right. Have a good day. Talk to you soon. Bye.